In September 1507, a small crowd gathered at Stirling Castle. Among those watching were the King, James IV, and his courtiers. The reason for the gathering was to watch Father John Damien and his attempt at flying. Damien's origins are somewhat shrouded in mystery, but it's thought he was either Italian or French, and he'd found the King's favour as he practised science, medicine and surgery. Under James's patronage, he also practised dentistry and the letting of blood. He managed to acquire money to set up a laboratory at Cambus Kenneth Abbey and secured payments for items such as aquavitae, quicksilver, tin and vinegar. The money was also used for the setting up and use of kists and fires to carry out his experiments. Whenever he was seen, he was usually covered in grime and dust. This notwithstanding, he became good friends with the king, playing cards with him, riding, hunting, and participating in other sports with some courtiers. Yet others at court were wary of him and called him the French leech. Alchemists were regarded as frauds, and what they did was believed to be superstitious nonsense. Literature was not particularly important to James, but science was, and this caused friction at court. James even appointed Damien Abbot of Tongland in Kirkcubrishire in 1504, but he resigned the post five years later, having never lived at the Abbey. On that September day, he appeared at the castle walls furnished with wings made from feathers and launched himself from the battlements at what is known as the Ladies' Lookout. It was thought his intention was to fly to France before the ambassadors arrived at the new Scottish embassy there as they were hoping to find a suitor for Prince James, the King's son. The crowd watched as he plummeted to the ground far below, and although they didn't know initially whether he'd survived or not, the only injury he sustained was a broken thigh bone. Some accounts say he was attacked by birds, which caused him to slip his wings. When asked why he'd failed, Damien replied it was due to the feathers he'd used, not because his contraption was badly designed. He'd copied Leonardo da Vinci's drawings for his flying machine, but had used hen feathers instead of eagle feathers. He blamed them, stating that chickens covet the middens, not the sky. The poet William Dunbar, who was said to be jealous of Damien, wrote several satirical poems about the event describing him as a horrible-looking griffin. However, writer John Leslie described him as an inventor, a medical man and alchemist. He tried to create gold, but had failed, so in order to win back the king's favour, had attempted the flight. It was not wholly unsuccessful, as it's now thought he may have flown up to half a mile with his wings. Although the attempt failed, Damien didn't fall out of favour with James. Usually such failures resulted in hanging, but he continued to receive payments to further his work for several years, until the King died in 1513 at the Battle of Flodden. What happened to Damien after this is unknown. <laughs>